Welcome to PowerTech Insights. In this tutorial, I will provide a comprehensive guide on fault finding and troubleshooting for a three-phase AC generator alternator part. Three, the exciter stator. Let's get started. Safety precautions. To ensure safety, always verify proper grounding before testing. Use PPE to protect yourself, including gloves and safety glasses. Ensure that all safety protocols are in place, such as lockout tagout and PTW procedures. These tests should only be carried out by qualified and or experienced engineers who have received safety training on live equipment. All test instruments and their leads connectors probes must be checked to ensure that they are suitable for the voltage levels being tested and are in good working order. Never attempt to test a live generator without another competent person present to shut down the engine or switch gear as necessary. Ensure that the work area is safe. Other personnel in the area are advised of what you are doing. Warning notices and tapes are displayed to advise others of the hazards. Required equipment and tools. Digital multimeter for measuring voltage, resistance, and continuity. Clamp meter for measuring AC-DC current without disconnecting wires. Megger insulation resistance tester to check the insulation resistance of windings. 12-volt DC battery to excite the stator exciter. In this video, we will provide a comprehensive guide on fault diagnosis for the exciter stator. Let's get started. Possible symptoms of an exciter stator failure. If the winding is open circuit, the output voltage will be almost zero, but there is still a small voltage produced by the residual magnetism. When separately exciting the generator with a battery, the output voltage will be almost zero, no excitation current into the windings. With a PMG-powered AVR system, shorts to earth an exciter stator may also overheat the PMG stator winding. A severe earth fault may cause voltage instability and or AVR failure due to high excitation current. Fault finding and testing the exciter stator. Stop the generator set and disconnect the battery. Follow lockout tagout, LODO procedure. Check the exciter stator winding resistance against correct values in the generator O and M manual. Using a multimeter across the exciter stator leads X plus and XX negative. The exciter stator resistance is checked with a multimeter set on the ohm range. The correct resistance figures are given in the operation and maintenance manual supplied with the generator. The exciter stator insulation should be checked with an insulation tester. The test instrument should be 500 or 1000 operating voltage. Connect one lead to either X plus or XX lead and the other to any earth point. The minimum insulation value should be 1.0 mega ohm to earth. In next video, we are going to check the exciter rotor windings. Please stay tuned. Warning. Always ensure that testing should be conducted by qualified personnel familiar with protection systems and that all safety procedures are strictly followed. Attempting these without proper training and safety precautions can result in serious injury or death. Do not try this at home or without the necessary expertise. PowerTech Insights is not responsible for any harm or damage caused by improper handling of electrical systems. Stay safe. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more expert tutorials. See you in the next video.